The mighty Pacaya in Guatemala, one of Central America's most active volcanoes. Just an hour's drive out of Guatemala City, Pacaya is more than just a tourist attraction or possible natural disaster lying in wait. Steam literally rises from the earth here. Beneath the land lurks a source of geothermal energy that the government hopes can provide power for the country well into the future. Some of its potential is already being realised. Wells like this one are able to tap into reservoirs of 340 degrees steam and water that sit as far as 2,000 metres below the Earth's surface. This raw material is then transferred in pipes that snake around the Pacaya mountain and eventually lead to this plant, run by the global alternative energy company Ormat, which operates the only two geothermal plants in Guatemala today. Here, the steam activates the turbines that power this electrical generator, creating energy without burning fossil fuels. The energy is transformed and, and then it goes to the main grid system, the national system itself. It's called the base load generation. Base load means that it's constant all the time, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you compare it to another interesting renewable, which is hydro, Hydro doesn't have that future because hydro depends a lot on the rainfall. One of the strengths of geothermal power is that it's so environmentally friendly. Some say it's one of the cleanest sources of energy available. When you use this kind of technology, as you can see, there's no smell being dissipated. The noise is very much controlled because after those uh, walls, you won't hear any noise outside. Whatever we take out from the production well, is also re-injected to the same reservoir. So in a way we, we, we maintain the reservoir at its very basic parameters and it is not affected by operation. Guatemala City, a bustling metropolis that's home to more than two and a half million people. But Guatemala has some of the highest poverty levels in all of Latin America. Around 83% of the country is connected to the electricity grid but the country's poor infrastructure, especially in rural areas, means that many have to go without. Ormat's plant currently generates about 20 megawatts of power that runs straight into the national grid. The Guatemala government claims the country's geothermal reservoirs have the potential to produce up to 1,000 megawatts of geothermal energy a year. The country's annual energy demands are around 1,540 megawatts. Most of Guatemala's energy is currently generated by traditional electricity plants or hydropower facilities. The country also spends $2 billion on oil imports every year, but the government is offering tax breaks to set up geothermal plants and is pushing to meet 60% of the country's energy demands through geothermal by 2022. There are of course some downsides to this form of energy generation. The plants are expensive to build, the search for geothermal spots costly. The disadvantage is uh, associated to the risk and to the efforts to get there. Because before having a geothermal power plant, uh, you need to go to a field development process, in other words, to develop the geothermal field, to conduct several drilling, and uh, the results might be very good, good or very bad, depends if you encounter the, 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 uh, the proper reservoir at the right parameters or not. Another risk for plants built so close to volcanoes is the possibility of eruption. Pacaya blew in 2010 and led to a temporary shutdown of the plant when the pipes were damaged by a shower of volcanic rock from the eruption. But Ormat, at least, is willing to run the risks and has plans to continue expanding its operations in Guatemala. And as the government continues to encourage the development of this alternative energy source, other companies could be tempted to join Guatemala's geothermal race. Tapping more of the country's geothermal power will be key to securing the country's energy future. Reporting from Guatemala City, this is Deborah Bonello for Global Post.